We will start by pinning the worm on both sides of its cuticle to ensure that it will stay open as we look at the structures that are inside. For example, here we begin to see the testes and the vas deferens, which are the strings that are being carefully removed from the inside of the worm. As we begin to look at both ends of the worm, we can clearly see that this worm has a curved tail, signifying that it is a male. Now pinned, we can zoom in and see the lateral lines and the intestines of the round worm. We will start by pinning the worm on both sides of its cuticle to ensure that it will stay open as we look at the structures that are inside. For example, here we begin to see the testes and the vas deferens, which are the strings that are being carefully removed from the inside of the worm. We can see this black mass, which the top of it being the cardiac stomach, and then going into the gastric mill, which separates the this stomach from the pyloric stomach, the lower half. And the pyloric stomach then leads into the the intestines and digestive gland. Flipping it onto its ventral side, we can see the swimmerettes or pleopods, which are the smaller legs, and also the periopods, which are the walking legs. <laughs>